Hey, Scarefest fans, this is Joe Lewis of Bonehead Weekly. This one's tough. It took me three nights to get through it, and this is a major Hollywood picture and made by a studio with a director who's made some movies I like. A couple of them not so much, but a couple of movies I like. <laughs> For the people who really like this movie, you've got to tell me why. I can't figure it out. I finally made it through The Exorcist Believer, 2023's. Directed by David Gordon Green. He's the guy that made the new Halloween trilogy, but he also gave us Pineapple Express and a couple other movies I like. But, oh, this is dreadful. And it's got a 22% of Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm, I'm kind of, there's some people who I know who love horror and they watch this and they were like, I don't understand why everybody's beating it up. It opens with this husband and wife in another country. And one of them suffers uh, an earthquake with a wife and we, quickly learn that she doesn't make it and the daughter did a few years later and when his daughter and her friend Catherine Angela and Catherine they 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 go off gallivanting and then they're missing for a few days and they all of a sudden they go into a tunnel never really explains any of that come back and there we are and now they're possessed by demons and they've got to do an exorcism and that's pretty much the plot don't understand how this movie I just don't it, it's it's lower budget, like a lot of the films. But here's an interesting thing. Universal, Warner Brothers owned The Exorcist. And Universal paid them some or sort of, I think it was almost $400 million, Google this, I'm not wrong. For the rights to The Exorcist, for them to make this movie. I mean, that's before they even shoot anything. That's before they pay an actor, before they pay a writer, before they pay a director. They paid them $400 million to, to have access to make another Exorcist movie. And this is what they gave. This movie has several writers. The stars Leslie Odom Jr. It's not necessarily the acting as much as it's just awful. I don't, I, I truthfully need you all. They brought back Ellen Bernstein, Burstyn, who was the mom in the first movie. I know she didn't want to do it. Look this up. She actually took a, uh, she held them ransom and then made them pay a certain amount of money where she is uh, one of the faculty at the actor studio in New York. They actually had to, <laughs> Universal had to give the actor studio money for her to do this. I, I, I don't know why on earth they made this movie. It makes very little sense. It doesn't really explain a lot. It's clearly a bridge movie to set up a trilogy that we're probably never going to see because this one's not very good. Some of it's creepy. Some of it's a little, I can't, I'm trying to find positive things, but I want to read you a critic i want to read you a quote from william freakin the original director of the exorcist now it's not been confirmed but they say that this is true he was talking to the film critic ed whitfield and william freakin once said to me ed the guy who made those new halloween sequels is about to make one to my movie the exorcist that's right my signature film was about to be extended by the man who made pineapple express i don't be want to be around when that happens but if there's a spirit world and i can come back i plan to possess david gordon green and make his life a living hell freaking actually died two months before the movie was released like there's a goof in the movie where in the credits the la, la mosh is there is the demon and when it sees his chris mcneil says we've met before but that's wrong because pazuzu was the demon in the first one i'm sorry there's not much here for me to to be positive about i'm going to give things away because it's awful if you do check it out, it's on Peacock. If you have Peacock, you can watch it now. I'm glad I didn't go see it in the theater because I kind of wanted to, but I kept reading awful things, but you try not to let people influence you, or at least I do. And obviously I'm trying to influence you all. Don't see The Exorcist Believer. It's on Peacock unless you're a huge Exorcist fan. And I'm truthfully, truthfully want to know if you're out there and you thought this was good and I am missing something, will you explain it to me? Because it took me three nights to get through it. Three nights. Not engaging, no reason. The two little girls are fine. It's just a lousy story or a lousy movie. I don't understand. So if you could let me know what I'm missing, The Exorcist Believer is dreadful. Thank you so much. This has been Joe Lewis. About In fact, Exorcist 2 is better than this. By the way, Exorcist 3, which was directed and written by William Peter Blatty, which is based on his novel Legion, that's the Exorcist sequel you should watch. Pretty good book. Almost exact. The movie's almost just like the book. Read the book. Watch the movie. Exorcist 3. Brad Dura. 